Hey friends, it's Brittany from Hobby Homesteading. Today I was going to review the Nurture Right 360 Incubator. We have a few of them. I love them. The reason I love them is my kids and I actually can watch our chickens, ducks, quail actually hatch. So we have hatched all of those three things in this incubator. Um, how to set that up? You have a base. Um, with the base, it typically has a red stop over here on the B side. I have lost that, so we just kind of made shift this one. Um, you're going to put water into the A port, and then that just fills up right in here. And then when you're ready for lockdown, you're going to use the B port, and then you fill up with the water. And so it's nice because it's an external water uh, access, essentially, and so we don't have to open or close our incubator. Um, the other thing is that it's an automatic egg turner, so I don't have to turn my eggs, uh, which is really nice for me because I don't have a lot of time. So from that base, you have your egg tray. Put that right on top of your base, and then you're going to add your egg turner. Now, when you're first setting up your incubator, you're going to want to run your incubator for about 24, minimum of 24 hours, just to make sure that everything is set up, the temperature, the humidity is right. It's all working right before you put your hatching eggs in there. So if you know you have hatching eggs, or you have mail ordered them, or you have them coming in from locally, go ahead and set your incubator up, get it all situated. Then um, you're gonna add your hatching eggs. So we're gonna pretend like I've had this set up for 24 hours and uh, we're gonna add our hatching eggs in here. This holds 22 chicken eggs. You can put them however you want. Um, for we'll just add a, a few in here and then you're going to add the top there are two little clips here you want to make sure that in the front and the back that uh, it sits right nice otherwise you don't get a good seal when you first set it up I typically have this vent closed halfway and then I'm going to open it all the way when we get to lockdown so right now we're just setting up so I'm going to close this halfway on the back here attached to the base is our egg turner uh, cord and you're just going to plug that into the top and there it is <clears throat> we have our power cord here and you're going to attach this to your power supply and you're going to attach this to your outlet it's going to make some nice fun noises okay so i have not turned this on um, you know, in a couple of days. So this would need some time. And this is where you're going to want it to read about 99.5 and then between 45 and 55% for your humidity. So how do you set your Nurture Right 360? Hit your menu, hold it down. It's going to beep here in a minute. There it is. 99.5 is the temperature I use for duck eggs and chicken eggs. Quail eggs, I go up to 100. Um, but you leave it at 99.5. Now, once it's at the correct temperature, this light here is going to blink on and off. That's normal. You want to see that happen. Click menu again, and you can set your days. Right now, it's set on 21 for chicken eggs, 18 for quail, or 25 for duck. Okay, this is our candling light, so you can hit that. You can candle your eggs. I would candle them maybe at a day of life 7, maybe 14. Um, and do it in a dark room. And you can uh, find pictures online. It'll talk you through embryo development. It's actually pretty cool to see. All right, so let's talk about lockdown. So lockdown means that at day 18 for chicken eggs, uh, we are going to not essentially not touch them and take out the egg turner. We're going to stop turning the eggs. We're going to take out the automatic egg turner. I'd like to add a shelf liner that I have cut to size. It helps to prevent that splay leg or sprata leg. Uh, gives them a little bit of traction. I've had some people, and I'm reading things, um, say that maybe they... Uh, have lost a chick because they have fallen through or gotten stuck. I'm going to try to avoid that. I haven't had that happen, um, but I have had some splay leg and this has prevented it in further hatches.
So your um, next step here is to remove your side B, fill that up with water, fill this up with water, and then remember to come back and open this vent all the way open. I don't have the uh, machine on right now, but it's gonna read the 99.5, and then in a couple hours of af after adding your water, it's gonna read anywhere from 65 to 75 percent for the humidity. You can adjust that play with it. I find just a little bit, a little tweaking if it's too high, um, you know, or too low, you can kind of tweak that a little bit, but I typically find if I leave this open, it does just fine. You leave your eggs in here and you kind of patiently wait um, until they hatch. Now you're going to look for signs of hatching. So pipping is where the eggshell is actually starting to crack. Zipping is where they are pecking around, almost like a circle around the end of the egg. And then that's when you know it could take a couple hours and it could take minutes, but you'll know when your egg, they start to um, hatch. It's pretty neat to watch. Now you wanna leave these uh, chicks in your incubator. I leave them in typically about 24 hours or until they are dry and fluffy. Before I remove anybody, I make sure that there's no other pipping or zipping going on. And that's it. Um, have your brooder box set up and enjoy hatching. Until next time.